Tonight, penguins. Are they just little men in tuxedos? Our 12-part expose may shock you. Teen pregnancy is on the rise. Are you missing out? Learn how you can get in on the action. The hottest teen hookup spots in the city review. All of this and more on tonight's News to Me. When things happen in the world that are important enough to talk about on TV, well, that's news to me. Good evening, America. I'm Chip Chapley. Embattled oil CEO Tex Masterson retracts half-hearted apology for the most recent spill in the Gulf. Says, quote, I just hate fish. I fucking hate birds and fish. Fuck them. Fuck them all to death. In crime news, man robs five at Knife Point. Police continue to urge citizens not to visit Knife Point. America, it's one of the good countries, but is it ready to settle down? A Florida man thinks so. Spunky field reporter Abby Babel has more in tonight's top, top story. I'm here with Clayton Calhoun, the man who, in a private ceremony yesterday, married America. Mr. Calhoun, how did these unusual nuptials come about? Well... I was getting drunk underneath my pickup with Zeke and Huel and Roger and Little Raj and Big Zeke and shooting off at the mouth about how much I love America. And Little Raj said, damn it, Clayton, if you love America so much, why don't you just marry it? So I said, fuck you, Little Raj, get out from under my pickup, you dilapidated ass crack. But the next day, I pawned off my first edition of Wuthering Heights and bought America a ring. And have you always been a proponent of same-sex marriage? Uh, pardon? Same-sex marriage. America is a man. America the Beautiful is a classy as fuck lady, Miss Babel. Thank you very much. America is overweight, short-tempered, loves guns, and takes all its friends for granted. America's a dude, bro. What about Lady Liberty? What about Uncle Sam? But, but, but... You live in Florida, America's dingus. But I, I, I never, I mean... Mr. Calhoun said the happy couple plan to spend their honeymoon in San Diego, which we all know is America's butthole. This is Abby Babel from Jacksonville, Florida, signing off. Thanks, Abby. You know, I've always thought it was America and Erica, not America and Steve. Which part of America would you have sex with? Take our online viewer poll and let us know. Opinions. America was founded by men with opinions, opinions about how to govern, and who gets to own land, and who gets to own whom. It's time for Opinions. Everybody has them. Tonight, we're joined by two neighbors who have opposing viewpoints about a hot-button issue. Timothy Reardon, welcome. Thanks, Chip. You know, the Constitution grants me the right to have and express whatever opinion I want, no matter who it offends. That it does. I remember reading that somewhere. But my neighbor Todd doesn't think I should be able to express myself and my opinions. We're joined now by Todd Stansberry. Todd, why can't you accept Timothy's opinions? Because his opinion is that he should murder me. Interesting. Timothy, you want to murder Todd? Yes, Chip, that's right. I want to kill him with a knife. Or maybe a gun. And this opinion offends you, Todd. Uh, yes. I live every day in fear for my life! Why can't you just live and let live? That's the point. He doesn't want to let me live. He wants to kill me! With a knife! See? Or a gun. Now, the argument extends beyond your opinions, Timothy, and also into how you express yourself through clothing, correct? That's right. He says I wear symbols and imagery that offend him. Todd, is it possible that you're taking these symbols and imagery out of context? His shirt has a picture of me with a knife through my head and the words kill all Todd Stansbury's. Hey, 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 but he wears a shirt I don't like, too. He has it on now. Is this true, Todd? Yes. It says if I end up stabbed or shot, it was definitely Timothy Reardon that murdered me. Todd, can you really call someone a murderer without being a murderer yourself? Yes! Thank you, gentlemen. You have given us a lot to think about. Down at Knife Point, life goes a little slower and ends a little sooner. You know, some say the lifeblood of America runs through Knife Point and all over it as well. So grab yourself a one-way ticket to Knife Point today and treat yourself to your last vacation. Please be aware that almost everyone gets stabbed at Knife Point USA. Please consult your doctor before visiting Knife Point. Knife Point is not a safe place for children or anybody. This message brought to you by the Knife Point Tourism Board. Welcome back. I'm Chip Chapley. One neighbor who wants to murder the other and another neighbor who doesn't want to be murdered at all. Two differing opinions, each with subtle nuances. Who can say who's right? In America, no one can. I'll leave you with this parting thought. 
If you as an American can't kill the people that bother you just because you want to, well, that's news to me. Good night.